welcome back to my channel today i will show you how to make a thumbnail for your youtube video for this we will need two apps you will need the pixart app and the photoshop mix app we will start by clicking on the photoshop mix app once you get here you will click on the top right corner the little plus sign you will go ahead and click on custom canvas this lets you put any size that you like so for the title I'm just going to go ahead and put YouTube thumbnail once you're done with that when you go to the width size you're going to put three eight four zero and the height will be two one six zero once you have all of that filled up you're going to go ahead and click on create and now you have a plain canvas to add any pictures or anything you will go ahead and click on the little plus sign i will start by adding a color just in case any of your pictures don't cover the whole size this allows you to have some color in the background so we will go ahead and click on color as you can see you can choose any color that you like I'm just gonna go ahead and pick a light color it really doesn't matter unless you have a preference once you're done with that on the top right corner you're gonna go ahead and click done and as you can see, it covered the whole canvas. To add a picture, you're gonna go back and click on the little plus sign. But now instead of color, you're going to go ahead and click on image. For this example, I'm going to use a nature thumbnail. I'm going to choose four pictures. I'm going to choose this one right here and as you can see it's very small but if you click on any of the corners of the image it allows you to make it bigger and then if you hold it you can move it around but for now we'll leave it at this size if I need to change it later I can make it bigger that's no problem. To add more images, you will go back and click on the little plus sign. And once again, click on image. I will choose this one now. And again, it's tiny, so we will make it bigger. If the site does not let you see, you can always zoom the whole thing out. Just click on, it, on anything outside the picture and with your two fingers you're going to pinch in so that it kind of zooms out instead of zooming in. Now you can go back and click on the little picture that you're working on and just put it on the side. So I want them to all be the same size so I can go back and make this a little bigger and this one as well now to add another image we're gonna go back and click on the plus sign again and on image again now I will choose this one right here adjust the size to your liking and the last image I will click again on the plus sign and on image and the last picture I will choose this one make it bigger you can also change the way the pictures are 
so instead of having it on the right side, we can put it on the left. You can adjust it to the size you want. As you can see, the bottom pictures are a little bit bigger than the top ones. So you're just going to adjust the size. This is all to your liking. I want all my pictures to be the same size, but if you don't want that, then you can go ahead and just leave them how you want them to be. Okay, once you are done, you will go ahead and on the top, click on the little square that has an arrow pointing up, and that will allow you to save it on any of the platforms that you have, but we will choose camera roll, and that will just save it to your pictures. Once that is completed, you can go ahead and click OK. Now we will get out of this and we will go to the PixArt app. Sometimes ads pop up, but that's fine. On the left corner, there's a little X where you can just exit out. And now we will click on the bottom plus sign. And you will go ahead and click on the first picture that's there. So as you can see, you have your picture here. Now since this will be a nature thumbnail, I will go ahead and go to text on the bottom. And I'm just going to put beautiful nature pictures. Once you have that on the right corner, you're going to click on the little check. And on the little arrow, it allows you to make it bigger or smaller. If you see on the bottom, you can change the font. So you can go ahead and scroll and see which one you like. On the ones that have the little crown on the side, you do not want to choose those because that does not come in the free version of the app. So if you click on that and if you choose that one, once you try to save the picture, it won't allow you to. It will make you pay for it before you save the picture. So just make sure that you don't click on the ones that have the little crown on the side. I will go ahead and choose this one right here. Once you have the one you chose, you can go ahead and go to color. And then that allows you to choose any color that you like. You can go ahead and click on them and just see if you like that or not. And just kind of play with it and see which ones you like. I'm going to choose this one for now. On the bottom, I like to choose the stroke effect because that just outlines the letters and it makes it pop up more. So that's why I like it. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the stroke effect. As you can see, you can also choose the color. So you can kind of check and see which one looks good. And where it says amount, you can always move that and if you want it to be more outlined you just keep choosing more and if you want it to be less then you just go down i'm going to stick with 100 because as you can see it pops a lot once you're done with that you can just click on anywhere on the picture so those options can remove and you can go ahead and click something else so we're going to go on the sticker right here on the bottom and we're going to on the search on the top we're going to search for a neon square and as 
you can see you have a lot of options so just kind of scroll down and see which ones you like or if you like any any that catches your eye I see this one right here so I'm going to choose this one on the little top circle with the arrow that allows you to rotate it just play around with it and if you don't like it you can always click on the little X on the bottom or wherever the X is so I didn't like it I'm just going to click on the X and just look for another one that looks better with my picture I like the neon ones because it pops up more and it catches more the attention more. That's why I choose those. And once again, if you didn't like it, just click on the X. And just kind of scroll down and see if any of them catch your attention. Or if you like any of them. So I'm going to go back all the way to the top. Let me try this first one. I didn't like that one, so I will keep looking for more. I see this green one right here, so I will try that one. And if you want to change your text to make it smaller or bigger, you can always just move this down out of the way and click on the text and then make it bigger, smaller. If you see that little bar on the side, on the right side, that allows you to have your text either all under each other or if you just want like a straight line. That also allows you to have just a straight line of your text. But I'm going to have them all under. I think that's fine. Then you can go back and just drag your square back up. And the little dots on the side, that, make, that allows you to stretch it out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. On the right, I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. And then just drag it and move it. If you want to add other things, you can. If not, this is fine. Or if you want to, for example, add arrows, you can go back to sticker on the bottom. And search for arrows. And as you can see, you have a variety of options. This is why I really like this app. And just remember that the ones that have the little count on the side, you will get charged for that. So try not to choose those. If you want another neon arrow, you can go ahead and search for a neon arrow. As you can see you have a lot of options we can try this pink one right here and again change the size Rotate it if you want to. And if you want to add another one, you can. If you want to flip it to the other side, you're just going to hold the one that lets you zoom in and zoom out. Make it bigger or smaller. You're going to hold that one. And, and kind of just make it super small. And then when it comes back up, 
it comes out flipped as you can see and then you can just make it bigger or smaller and rotate it if you want to and as you can see this kind of makes it pop more I like the neon ones because it does pop up more and it catches the attention like I said before once you're done on the top right corner you're gonna go ahead and hit apply I like to hit apply when I'm done because once you hit apply you cannot move anything anymore so if you want to make your text smaller you can't do that anymore so that's why I like to hit apply at the end once I'm done with everything so I'm still able to move everything around and once you're done you're gonna go ahead at the top there's an arrow facing down you're gonna go ahead and click that and that will save your image to your pictures and there you have it this app also lets you if you want to add more text or add a different picture or add more stickers you can just kind of play around with the app and see what you like and what you don't like and there you have it it's very easy to use if you like this video go ahead and comment down below let me know what you liked and if you want me to show you any other things that you can do with this app or just in general with youtube go ahead and comment down below as well thank you so much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe see you next time